and welcome along and welcome back to the farm. We are actually nowhere near the farm right now. We're heading into town. We have finally secured ourselves a bale shredder uh, for the farm. This is... It's by a French company called uh, Emily. Um, and it's a Volcano. Uh, and I've managed to pick up a second-hand one. Uh, from the area should do the bales that we've got fairly well uh, speaking of bales <laughs> we are we are still stacking them up uh, it's uh, been about two uh, it's been about a week actually I think since my last vlog and uh, uh, yeah that'd be about right um, we are basically <laughs> still trying to get all of those bales off those fields uh, other than that short shower we had at the last at the end of the last vlog, uh, we've not really had any rain, so that's uh, that's at least been a godsend from that point of view. But now that we're actually getting some bales in, uh, what we need to do is get the uh, well, start sorting out the manure because the manure is the thing that we need to be a bit more self-sufficient on. We need to generate some for our uh, for our greenhouses uh, to keep them going because those thankfully are an all-year-round thing. And, uh, and those will continue to bring us in money. And this is our new piece of kit. Second hand. Um, so it has got a few scrapes and scratches and things on it. But in general, it's uh, it's a nice bit of kit, this. So, yeah, as I said, it's by uh, French company, uh, company Emily. Uh, and, uh, and it blows the uh, straw out the back. Uh, you put the straw bale in here. The great thing about this is the one we, uh, the, the bales we have, we should be able to put a couple of them in here and sort of get 6,000 litres of uh, bales through at a time, uh, which is absolutely perfect for us. Should do us pretty well. So uh, I want to get up to the farm today and, uh, and go and check this out and see if this works. I think we're going to be doing some work with our uh, greenhouses as well because we need uh, to make sure that they're all topped up. Um, so, uh, yeah, we need to do that as well. And I think that'll probably take up the last of the purchased manure uh, that we had as well. So, uh, yeah, we are really, really desperate uh, to get manure coming in from the cows now. Uh, and, uh, and hopefully that's going to solve a big problem for us. Really quite pretty around this time, uh, this part of the world at this time of year. Especially uh, as the sun is rising like this. It is, yeah, the, the golden leaves in the trees just uh, make it really beautiful. And even the hedgerows, you know, t sort of turning their, their golden colour is, uh, is nice. Still a few crops uh, kicking around in the fields around the farm. Uh, of course, none of these are ours. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm guessing that these crops are going to be uh, forage. Uh, going to be, uh, yeah, turned to silage. Because that is a very big field of uh, corn on that side uh, waiting to be silaged. If you've got a couple of winter crops and things in, and you can see we've, we've still got some bales on that field there. Uh, so, uh, yeah, there's, there's still a lot going on. It's still a very busy time of year, even though harvest is now complete. I was speaking to uh, Elizabeth over at the, uh, at the dairy. And, yeah, they're, they're pretty busy at the moment as well. They've got, they've got a lot of stuff on. Um, I know they, they've, she's not said that they need any help at the moment, but uh, in general, um, I think they're just very busy. Um, and our chickens are producing eggs quite well. I need to actually go and get some of these. You might remember in a, a vlog a while ago, I was talking about the uh, possibility of um, trying out a local set of new... Uh, um, <coughs> new egg boxes that they patented. And they were looking for farmers to uh, to sort of use and try out. So uh, I think we might do that and uh, and see if we can pick some of those up soon. There we go. And up. Perfect. Let's bring this in. And as I said, this should take two of these. And in doing so, will work quite well. 
Oh, come on. There we are. So the bales should go in fine, I think. Or will be a little bit this way. Yeah, there we go. Right, and then off. Oh, I think we've got a bale jammed at the moment. What's that? Come on. Right, let's try this again. And in. Yeah, wait, 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 reverse, please. Ah, oh, got one of them in, not the other. I'm sure when I measured this up that this takes two of these. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's just not going to uh, go and do it. Should take two of these. Yeah, should take two of these. I think you have to get it fairly well in. Um, that at the moment is not going to do it. So I'm going to shred this one then. Let's go turn the teller handler off. Yeah, I think I must have been in this an angle or something. This should work though. Right. And then we'll bring this in and bring this over here. And the way this should work should be a case of just... I think it's either reversing it up here just to blow it over or... No, it's in there. Right, we're going to go ahead in there and do that. It wants to be in the pens on the far side, is where we want to put this. And we do have a cow in there at the moment. So bring it in. And then we can just blow this into uh, these pens here, like so. Right, and... Oh. Forward a little bit and there we go blowing it out and looks like they're going to take all of this first bail there we go so uh, turn this around and get this back out and we'll uh, we'll go and grab that second bail and see if that does them and uh, finishes it off give us a good idea as exactly how much uh, we need to give our cows drop out jump in here see if I can get this to sit uh, right on our bit first there we go So reposition the bale like this and hopefully we can go nice and straight into it to get this loaded up right, uh, there. right that is much better like so there we go perfect Right, let's jump back in here and do this again. This yard, despite the fact that it looks fairly large, can be quite tight to turn around in sometimes. Um, it's fairly good for us, though. We, uh, we get to work fairly well. I need to blow this down the other end this time. So we're going to turn around and uh, get it into the other end of it. Like so. Position that in there. Like that. And that will then blow down that end. And should do us pretty well. And you can see it's it's now covering that bottom end of it quite effectively as well. And that's that. Uh, we still... I think we still probably need a couple more bales. 
in order to uh, to do this properly. So we'll head up here and we're going to stack two more into the trailer and get those blown in there as well. Should be pretty good and uh, and keep our cows very happy. I'm going to try and take two off the top here, hopefully without destabilizing this stack. Uh, this stack is a little bit high at the moment. Oh, yeah, you can see it's a little bit unstable. That's why I want to get them off the top. It's It would be a good stack, except I haven't stacked at the front of it. So as a result, uh, it has a bit of a, a stability issue. Uh, and you've got to be very careful when doing stacks like that, especially single stacks at the top. So we try and line this up. We try and bring this to this side of it and see if we can actually fit two in here. Ah, uh, sort of. That seems to have uh, just about worked. Yeah. Yeah, it is It is a little bit of a trick to get it to do it. Oh, before I go, let's go and turn the engine off on that. Yeah, so it's a little bit of a, a knack to it. And I think as we get to use this piece of kit more... Um, we will uh, we will get that knack. We'll uh, we'll be able to to sort of get that a bit better. Uh, oh, all the cows seem to think that there's lots of food coming. We do need to get the bucket in here and clean them out because you can see they've been a bit messy with their food. But uh, this should easily clear it. Oh, we got yeah. There we go. All right, let's. Uh, Let's get this in and get this blowing. There we go. And this should finish it off like that very nicely. I think that is probably enough straw for them for today. So uh, we can go and park this up in what is our straw shed. Uh, next to the baler. Because, yeah, I've got the baler on that side. I want to move this out of the way. And we're going to switch over to the bucket in a moment and just clean them out. We also need to uh, go and get some of the barley and see if we can feed the chickens with it, I think. I have taken the netting off for that job, so... Let's just plonk this on here while we're here. Save ourselves the walk. Just take this back over here. Perfect. Oh, this is going fairly smoothly with this piece of kit. I'm uh, I'm liking it. It's uh, it's a good purchase, this. It did cost us a little bit more than I wanted to spend, but uh, it is the perfect size and the perfect setup uh, for the farm. So, yeah, it works for us, and it works for us well. Just need to park it over here like so. drop it off and then we'll leave this tractor in here while we head over here and yeah we've got uh, we've got a little bit of manure on the ground and we've got a little bit of food on the ground so we're going to clear the food up and get that back into the feeding trough uh, we're still feeding the cows from the uh, grass in the field uh, we'll switch to doing some mixed ration come the winter and, uh, and the hope is that when I come to the mixed ration, uh, what I'm going to be doing is uh, uh, is uh, getting a small feed mixer. There's uh, again, I think there's there's what I've seen uh, around recently around here, uh, or I've got, I've got a tip off that somebody's selling a small Polish one. Um, so uh, yeah, we're going to be uh, keeping our eye out for that. Oh, we've got manure already. That's brilliant. We'll go and put this straight in to help our greenhouses go, I think. It'd be absolutely perfect. And this is the thing. We should be able to just take manure straight from there and put it straight into the greenhouses. 
and uh, and just keep that topped up all the time. As I said, taking the uh, netting away from the barley for now, uh, we're we're going to go and get some of that. And yeah, greenhouses are doing okay, but uh, yeah, there are some manure, so we'll uh, we'll just put the little bit that the cows have generated so far into there. And then uh, I need to give this a wash out before I uh, before I go and give some of this barley to our uh, chickens because they're gonna want feed. I think, yeah, they've got a little bit on the ground. I'm hoping they'll take the barley. Uh, otherwise, we're gonna well, we're probably gonna be putting in some winter wheat in the next couple of weeks anyway. Uh, there we go. Give that a quick wash out because I do not want to uh, be feeding the chickens manure. We don't need a lot, we just need a little bit. Yeah, 300 odd litres should do it. Let's we'll see if we can feed this to our chickens. Don't know if they like it as much as the wheat, but grains is grains. Yeah, there we go. That's made our chickens happy. And I can go and put the. Uh, I can go and put the uh, netting back on there in a bit. And the last job I want to do today uh, is we'll go and put this away. And we will go and sort out uh, the water for our greenhouses. Just keep that topped up as well. And then the farm and the yard and everything is functioning as it should. And I can get back to going out to those fields and, uh, and getting the remaining bales that are kicking about done. Because, uh, yeah. Oh. It's taken longer because we just can't stack them on the trailer how I wanted to. Let's bring that round here. Like so. Our nice little water trailer. We've got fuel on the farm, but I really at some point need to get a fuel uh, fuel order in and fill up our main tank. I think when, when we have enough money to do it, I think it's going to be good. Right, we need to go and get some water. So I can show you now the advantage to what we did with uh, field 36 over here. Where we got, uh, where we opened this up. Just makes it so much easier to, uh, to go and get water. When there's crop in the field, we don't even have to touch the crop. Um, we can just reverse into here. While it's stubble, it's actually easier just to come onto the stubble. And reverse our water trailer in instead. Like so. Start its pump. And uh, and get it refilled. Nice full tank of water. Turn the pump off. And away we go. Perfect. Just absolutely perfect. Um, and then we just, yeah. Bring it around here. And give it to the greenhouses. Which will then just continue to generate money for us. They are, they are an absolute boon. These greenhouses, uh, absolutely perfect for us. And unload them. Yeah, we need. We we should get more manure in the near future. Uh, at the moment, it's uh, yeah, we've not got a lot in here to do the greenhouses. But they are at least fully uh, done now. A uh, good crop of tomatoes in that one. A good crop of lettuces in this. Uh, and they're, uh, they're bringing in income for the farm on a regular basis. But we're going to leave this here for today. So lots uh, done around the yard. We're moving into October. And uh, yeah, still plenty to do around the farm. Uh, for now, though, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from the farm, please subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.